This is Audrey with your, with your daily Wildcat Wire News. Today is Friday, March 31st, 2023. We would like to wish a very happy birthday to the following students celebrating their birthdays over break and the week we come back to school. Lillian, Lillian R, Zena B, Really B, Dan S, Anna A, Mom Hand M, Takari G, Ginny, Giniana C, Jacob T, Diana A, Carolos Y, Chris S, Paul B, Faith, Faith I, Cole C, Nathaniel A, Michael H, John G, J, Madeline M, Hef B, P, Madeline P, Zoran S, Justin G, Emmett H, and Ziana J. Our staff birthday is Miss Casa Grande. Sorry if I pronounced anyone's names wrong. And have a very good spring break. Bye. The weather for today is supposed to be a high of 68 degrees with a chance of thunderstorms. The weekend, this weather is supposed to be 55 degrees on Saturday and 61 degrees on Sunday. Hello, I'm Javi. This week, this is Song of the Week. This week's song is Bubble Guppy. JK, get Rick rolled. Welcome back to This or That with me, Liliana. Today we have... Miss Backus! Um, thank you to my mom for giving me this idea. She actually had Miss Backus a couple years ago. So, that was nice, and we're here to ask her some questions. What was, like, your first year, like, what was different about PE for you? when you first started teaching. Oh, like compared to back then to now? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, class sizes were a lot smaller. Um, and you know what? I had a clipboard. The kids had to um, take showers and we had to mark it off if they showered and I had to give out towels. And the um, PE uniforms had zippers on them. They were like full jump jumpsuits with mm -hmm. shorts. So very, very different. Um, then today's day and age, um, we didn't have a choice. We had things called demerits. So you would get so many demerits if you weren't dressed. Um, we don't do that nowadays. Now it's more for points in, in class, but things are a lot different. A lot of the same units, we didn't have individual um, sport units. We have, we always had team-based units. So the units are the same, but we did have gymnastics and wrestling back in the day, right when I first started. That was scary. Yeah. And for our second question, what are some of the weirdest things you've seen in your years of teaching? Oh, let's see. So I've been in the district for 29 years. Um, I'm going to have to say um, I was out on the soccer field and all of a sudden all of my girls were screaming in class and turned around and they were screaming there was a pig. Um, we had a pig out on the field. We don't really know where it came from. It just kind of came out of the woods. So it was like a wild pig. Um, but we ended up finding it wasn't really a wild pig. It was um, uh, one of the neighborhood's pets. When somebody in the neighborhood had a pet pig. So we were trying to catch it. That was quite comical because it was squealing and trying to get away. And then I'm not going to lie, about maybe a week or two later, there was a chicken at the back door. As we were letting the kids back in, there was a chicken pecking at the back door to get in. Um, let's see, what else? We've had a goose with one leg. We've got a coyote back there now with one leg. It's usually animal driven. Um, I've had some weird accidents with kids like um, in a soccer game a kid went up to head the ball and his two teeth got embedded into another student's head. So that was a little scary. A um, lot of medical things, a lot of animals, um, but I would have to say those classify as some serious weird things. Yes, I would definitely say so. I want to thank Ms. Baggis for being here and staying after with me. And doing Thanks. this with me. Thanks for having me. Yes. Go catch that news. I love it. Thank you, everybody, for watching.
That about wraps it up for us here today. Remember that today is a B-Day. Be sure to attend your B-Day Encore classes. Thank you again for watching, and remember to start each day with a positive attitude, face new challenges, and always rise above. Have a great day and an even better spring break, Wildcats.